Hey guys, and welcome to the video. And I hope that you are feeling awesome. All right, guys, if you haven't already seen it, look at this, look at this. I've got a nice pillow top here, and this design is absolutely looking sweet. And I must admit, I'm looking forward to seeing what other things I get John's Avengers printed on. But anyways, I am now currently out doing a bit of ecotherapy because I thought, do you know what? Too much computers. I need to go out there and get some uh, fresh air, so to speak. But yeah, I will say one thing today. The weather has been absolutely spot on and also I absolutely love it when the sun comes down and you get this effect absolutely beautiful now the last time I came here guys I seen a couple of people going up and down this area with bags and they were collecting litter and I gotta confess today it's absolutely beautiful to walk down there and not see a crisp packet a can of pop or anything like that it's absolutely amazing Um, I think I'm witnessing on the grass here. I don't know if this is coming up. But we're in now. The sun is going behind the cloud, and now we are in the shadow. But then the sun's over there. the size of this field here and unfortunately this is private land because I would love to be able to get in here and have all that space for flying around like uh, that pigeon's got Whee. God, guys i can't believe that and near enough just about caught a butterfly at least i hope you saw that anyways but for now i'm literally just gonna go around taking some pictures and then it's gonna be that time to get back home because i have got to go back to work tomorrow <laughs> but then after work guys i'm looking forward to uh, going out with the drone the sky this morning is absolutely so pink and you know the saying red sky at night shepherds the light red sky in the morning shepherds warning Absolutely cracking of a sunrise as is today and I must admit I really 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 wish I wasn't at work because I would have had that drone up in the sky taking some wonderful pictures because earlier with the sky being so pink that was absolutely fantastic I wanted to quickly give you a um, well pretty much an update of the uh, KFC that's being built right now and uh, you know what I said many uh, vlogs ago that I believe that you're gonna be able to drive around here I was correct because look they've got the curbs in now and it looks like they're gonna be probably filling this area in here so then it comes up to the same height as the actual uh, path and what a cracking uh, view they're gonna have the Sun coming up over the horizon there guys and then you've got the windows just there to the building. Today I've literally had to pack everything. I've uh, got a bag on the back here with a change of clothes in. I've got my bag in the car for my new my normal adventure and stuff. Absolutely spot on for weather, honestly guys. But anyways, I've just caught up with Yvonne because she's just started work now and we've had a bit of a natter and she's informed me that she has some secret squirrelage to do and also we have to pop into town. Anyways, I'm now about to uh, get in the car and uh, open the windows up because I can feel the heat coming out of it. Wow, crikey guys, that is really, really hot. I'm about to get on the road now and we're going to go off to a place called Marcus's Drive. Well guys, I am here, but I'm not at the Marcus's Drive area. Unfortunately, I went there and it was literally packed with people and it made me feel a little bit uncomfortable and I thought, do you know what? Nah, I'm gonna abort that location. So I've just literally just gone not far down the road and I found this beautiful area here and I thought, do you know what? I might actually see if I can take the drone off in this location. Whoa, there's a big tractor coming through here. Well guys, I think I found a perfect location for the drone to take off from.
is I am now done in this location, guys. And I'm looking forward to getting back in the car, having myself a drink, and also getting the heck out of here, because I want to find out how, first off, Yvonne's shift has been, and secondly, how quick we're going to get everything done in town, because I can't wait to get back, guys, get my feet up, and relax, because it's been a long day for me, that's for sure. Look at the pink in the sky, it's fantastic. Oh, anyways, it's very, very early in the morning, as you can probably tell. I'm just getting myself ready now to get ready for work. And then it's gonna be a very, very long shift because I've got two shifts I'm doing today. First shift I'm doing at the PFS, and then the second shift I'm doing on trolleys. So today is gonna be a very, very a long day. <laughs> Well guys, I got myself all ready now for work and I'm about to head on out. But I will say one thing, this sky is absolutely spot on this morning. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to get some nice shots for you for on the way to work. shot guys i literally reversed in i was like whoa it's got blinded by the light in the mirror oh. well i'm just gonna have a little bit of a wander around here and then it's gonna be that time to start work wow guys i can honestly say that today's weather is absolutely spot on i have literally sweated my arse off and i gotta confess I am loving the fact that I can sit outside in this lovely weather today. Well guys, I can honestly say I'm having a really, really good shift up to now. And uh, I've been literally on the roll. I've been helping this, do this, do that. And I've been like, wait, let's get on with it type of thing. Anyways, time for food and uh, time to call Yvonne and find out what she's been doing today. <sighs> oh my God, guys, I am absolutely done in. I've only been outside for about an hour and a half, and I must admit that was the longest hour and a half of my life. Oh my god, and the heat really does hit you as you go out, guys. Well, anyways, I'm now done, and I'm looking forward to getting home and literally flopping and chilling out, because that's all I fancy doing. Guys, i got to confess, the last couple of days, I have not been able to do much recording. One thing is, it's been absolutely boiling hot. I just cannot deal with it going outside. So I have been doing lots of things around the house, but not enough to be able to show you guys on camera. But today, apparently it's got to be persisting it down with rain, which is great for you know, the environment, but really, really bad for me, because today I'm out doing trolleys. So I'm going to be getting my ass completely soaked. So I'm hoping it's going to be a really, really quick shift. So later on, guys, I've got to then rush back home to go pick up Yvonne to bring her in for her shift. So let's just say, fingers crossed, guys, I hope today goes absolutely spot on. I really do. But anyways, time to get in and get those trolleys in. Honestly, guys, it has been absolutely all over the place today. Now, literally, I've not that long finished my shift, right? And i got to go home, and i got to have a quick bath before I can do anything, because I am absolutely soaked. But anyways, I'm now off home now to go and have that quick bath, see Yvonne for a bit, and i got to be honest, I am so pleased that shift's out of the way with, because I tell you, it's now working trolleys. It does give you a workout, guys. Gives you a good chance to get a good sweat on, that's for sure. <laughs> Well guys, I just got back for taking Yvonne to work and I must admit, I was absolutely freezing when I got back home. My clothes were drenched, I was feeling very, very cold. But once I had a bath and I managed to get a little bit of warmth inside me. I feel like I'm ready to pretty much go to sleep. I am like, mmm, all snuggly and nice and toasty, so to speak. But unfortunately, well, unfortunately guys, I can't guys, do, I that, do that because I have, I have lots, lots of editing to do and I really, really, really 
I'm going to push myself as much as I can tonight to get as much as I can done. So it then leaves me less to do tomorrow. Because tomorrow, guys, is Father's Day. Now, unfortunately, this is the first year that I'm not going to be able to send my dad a happy Father's Day message to him. But wherever you are, Dad, I hope that you have a fantastic day, whatever it is you're doing. Knowing you, you're probably on your motorbike doing something or, you know, making something out of wood. I ain't got a clue. To be truthfully honest, I do look at, you know, death in a different way to most people. Um, I feel that sometimes people go a bit too, you know, oh, you should be feeling this way, you should be feeling that way. And to be truthfully honest, I feel the way that it feels good for me. But yeah, to all of you fathers out there, I hope that you have a fantastic Father's Day, or at least I hope you had a fantastic Father's Day last week and uh, you got spoiled. As I'm editing this uh, weekly vlog, it suddenly occurred to me the main point of why I mentioned outside about Father's Day. Not only obviously the information I told you about my dad, but I'm also a dad as well. And uh, the best thing is, every single year, the cats go out their way and get me some awesome presents. And it's absolutely fantastic. So I must admit, I'm quite looking forward to seeing what presents I've got. And I'm looking forward to showing you guys as well. Throughout the year, I do get presents of different occasions. And there's things that I end up getting given that I don't get the chance to even show you guys. But there is one present that is still yet to be shown on camera. And it's a Lego model that Yvonne had got me. So this is the model I was on about, this one here, and I haven't yet made it. So I'm looking forward to maybe next week, guys, doing a bit of a time lapse of me making this model. So yeah, like I said, I get given presents, but unfortunately, because I work a lot of hours, I don't get a chance to uh, play with them. So uh, look forward to seeing this next week, guys, when I uh, do a time lapse of making this. Wow, guys, the sky is tonight is absolutely awesome. Unfortunately, I'm literally about to go to sleep. I only looked outside the window and I was like, oh my god, it looks absolutely freaking cool. Have a look at this. Wow, what a beautiful start to the day. Well, anyway, guys, I am looking forward to getting uh, my shift out of the way with today and getting back home and chilling and relaxing. I've uh, got a note from Yvonne saying, you know, happy Father's Day and everything. And I was like, oh, that was so sweet. Just made my morning seeing that. Well, anyways, I'm just uh, getting up now and get myself all sorted ready for work for today. Yvonne's still asleep because I'm up a bit too early. And then uh, once she's up, we're going to get ourselves dressed and it'll be time for work. What is going on with the sky? It was beautiful earlier. Unfortunately, this one didn't see it because she was still snoozing. But it was just absolutely awesome. But I will say... It's got a little bit warmer, which is a good thing because next week, guys, it's going to be fantastic for weather and I can't wait to take you guys to different places. But anyway, speaking of taking, it's that time for me and Yvonne to get on that road and get to work. Wow, guys, I can honestly say I've had a real fun day. I was put on BWS, which stands for Beers, Wines and Spirits, and i got to confess... Oh my god, guys, that was very spontaneous of me. I think my manager wanted to be on camera. Hmm, don't know if she wants to become famous. As I was saying, I was working on uh, BWS today, and I tell you this now, I have not got a clue about alcohol. I don't drink enough alcohol to even know what different types there is. <laughs> you doing a bit of a dance there, are you? Is that a happy dance? Yeah. Why is it a happy dance? <laughs> I have to say that this week has been absolutely the most craziest week of them all and I am absolutely shattered. I don't know how you're feeling. Pooped. 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 So we're both shattered? Yes. I 
I can't believe I got that close to a couple of bees. Absolutely fan buzzantastic. <laughs> wow guys, I can honestly say the cats have really, really sported me this year and I must admit, I am quite happy with the presents I've got. I have to say that this card here is literally been handmade by Yvonne. Look at that. How cool is that? And Dini's trying to get in the bag. <laughs> I think I've definitely been sport this year. However, guys, unfortunately, this is where we're going to have to love and leave you for this weekly vlog. So we both want to say a huge thank you for coming by. It means the world to us. And always, guys, do your best to stay positive and scroll those negatives. Oh, yeah, baby. And we'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye.